Our school had to close in 2003. When the apartments surrounding the school went into reconstruction, then the reconstruction club generously donated their profits to build a new school building as a way of giving back to the community. So now, Songdan Elementary has the state of the art facilities providing us with a better learning environment. So, our Songjiang Elementary friends remember that we are church members of the community. Make us a proud by doing well and super cute. They are special, they are ready, and they are from Songjiang Elementary School. Welcome, welcome, welcome! One of my favorite parts of the uh, the episode because at this point everybody's equal everybody has a game score of zero there's no eliminations everybody's happy but soon the scores start piling up soon the eliminations start happening and eventually only one person the school champion can try for the super kid position but right now it's bliss it's happiness everybody's gonna go in these 60 seconds for maximum points how many is maximum 10 that's right Hear the hint, connect with the word, boom, it dis disappears from the list. We've got 10 participants and they have randomly chosen a category. Let's see what the category is. What's your category? Our category is island. Island? Yes. Okay, so when you think of island, what comes to mind? Jeju-do. Famous Korean island. Okay, how can you be so tall? I don't know. <laughs> Same reason as me probably, ate a lot of food. Okay, you ready? Yes. Here we go! You need to ride this on sea to get to the island. Boat. When you need help, you send out this sign. Uh, SOS. People go to the sea to do this. Swimming. A beautiful island where Mount Hala is located. Hawaii. The island that is located in the East Sea of Korea. Sea. An island is surrounded by this. Shark. An island in the U.S. that has lots of palm trees. Puss. A very large fish that has sharp teeth. Shark. You can make a necklace with these. Shellfish. This person lived in a deserted island for 27 Robinson years. Robinson Crusoe. A beautiful island where Mount Hala Jeju is Do. located. The island that is located in the East Sea of Korea. Hawaii. An island in the U.S. that has lots of palm trees. Hi! An island is surrounded by this. Good job, good job. They know their island uh, words. I feel uh, at home because I'm wearing my island shirt. Yes, they got a total of eight points. Eight points. And let's have the next team. Another team and another random category. Let's find out what it is. Okay, what's your category? Our category is baby. Ba baby? Yeah. Okay, do you have any baby brothers or sisters? No. No? Um, well, what do you expect to see in the baby category? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> okay, let's find out. Give us the baby category, please. 
This is who gives birth to a baby. Toy. Mommy and Daddy read babies this type of book. Picture book. Babies drink white liquid that come from cows. Milk. This hangs from the ceiling for the babies to look at. Baby sit on. You need to take a sick baby to this place. You use this to wipe the baby's dirty face. Handkerchief. Babies are given these to play with, like blocks. Piss. This is attached to cups made for babies. Uh, straw. You need to sit a baby in this while driving. What, babysitter? This person takes care of the baby instead of the mother. Babysitter. This is who gives birth to a baby. Mother. This hangs from the ceiling for the babies to look at. Mobile. You need to take a sick baby to this place. Hospital. Babies are given these to Car play stars. with. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe they don't know a lot about babies, but they got a total of eight. That's pretty good. All right, one more team. Come on out. <laughs> Moving right along. That's right. Let's move to our next team and find out what category they chose. What is your category? In class. In class. Do you spend a lot of time in class? Yes. I see. So do you have a favorite class? Yes. What is it? It is math and music. Math and music, okay. How many points do you think your team will get? Seven. Seven. Lucky seven. Let's find out. Here we go. You rub out your mistakes using this. This is where the lessons are held. Yes. Teachers give you this every day after school. Homer. You learn how to sing and play instruments in this class. Uh, music. Teachers write on this with chalk. Textbook. This tool helps you to draw a perfect circle. Yes. These people go to school every day. Student. You check what you've learned at school. Textbook. You study using this book. Oh, textbook. You learn about animals and the earth in this class. Science. You rub out your mistakes using this. Eraser. This is where the lessons are held. Test. Teachers write on this with the chalk. Blackboard. This tool helps you to draw a perfect circle. Compass. You check what you've learned at school. Test. This is where the lessons Classroom. are held. Classroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very good job, very good job. It's natural they are good students, so they can handle in the classroom. And they got a perfect score of 10. Great. Let's have another team. Come on out. If you're ready, let's meet our final team. Hi, what is your category? On the desk. On the desk. OK. So how many hours a day do you spend at the desk? Uh, it depends on how many homework I have. OK, ready? Let's yes. spend some time uh, here in the category, on the desk. This tells you time. Clock. You can use the internet with this. Computer. Kids save their money in this. Piggy bank. This tells you what day and month it is. Calendar. Kids like to read this type of book. Comic book. This is delivered to your house every morning. Newspaper. You can talk to a person who is far away from you using this. Telephone. You write with this. Pencil. You can see yourself in this. Mirror. You keep your flowers fresh in this. Face. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like I said, in the classroom, on the desk, these guys are students. What do you expect? Perfect score, 10 in about 10 seconds. Great job. Next round, let's go. Actually, words don't come to easy to anybody. 
when you're filling the board, you get the letter, and you just rack your brain and quickly write down words. When the time's up, more words come to mind. You have 60 seconds to write as many words as possible. Fill that board. Of course, you don't want to write the same word or misspell words, because I can only give you one point for one word, even if you write it down 20 times. Okay, guys, let's see. On this side, we have Apple Team, and you guys had uh, eight points, right? Yes. All right. They're ready. And on this side, we have Orange, and you guys had a perfect score of 10, right? Yes. Then let's get it on. Come on, show us the letter, please. There it is. It's an S. Go crazy, guys. Uh-huh. Oh, make sure you're holding the pen right. It's gonna run out of ink. That's just a popular letter. Okay. Apple's doing good. Let's see how orange is doing. Okay, they had a perfect 10 before. Let's see if they can maintain the lead. Filling the board, slowly but surely. Nice teamwork. Helping each other out. Not too much time left. Looks like we have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put down the pen, guys, put down the pen. Put down the pen. Ho, ho, ho. S. Popular, very popular indeed. Let's see how many points I can give these guys. S is one of our favorite letters on Super Kids. Let's see how many uh, points they get. Not bad, not bad. Oh my goodness. These guys obviously know their S words. So we have orange over here, they had eight. Got 23 more, totaling 31. Not too bad, not too bad. Orange had a perfect score of 10. They got 36 more, that's 46. Orange, moving on, you win! If a picture paints a thousand words, no pictures allowed, folks, just words. We want to fill the board with many words as possible. S is pretty popular. And uh, these teams are pretty popular, too. Let's see what the scores were. They brought with them how many points? Lemon had eight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And on this side, we have Kiwi. You guys had a perfect score, right? Yes. yes. Ten points. Once again, two-point difference. Not a huge gap. Will the lead be maintained or will there be some overturning? We shall see, we shall see. And let's see what the letter is. J, let's go. <laughs> Attacking the board. Lemon, what aggression. Oh, I like the brainstorming. Moving, 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 keep on moving. Don't slow down, guys. Nice momentum. Okay, let's check out the Kiwi team. Woo! Need a microscope. Nice flow, keep it up. Don't worry about erasing, make a mess. It's okay. Not a lot of time left. Keep on, keep on going, just flow with the words, flow with the words. How about the writers, guys? Not a lot of time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put down the pegs, put down the pegs, put them down, put them down. Ah. These guys like to write, I love it. Well, we ran out of time. They didn't run out of words, which is a good sign. They have good minds. Now let's see how many points I can give them for their good words. J is not as easy as S. Still, both sides 
similar challenge. Let's see how many points they got. Okay, good solid. Looking at the score. Now, Lemon was trailing by two. They had eight. Got 15 more, a total of 23. Okay. Kiwi had 10 and they got 14, one less. That means they maintain the lead by 1.24. You win! Congratulations! Oh my gosh! One point! Oh my god, three weeks have already passed since we first started our summer vacation. How should you guys spend the rest of my time properly? I know, I've been wondering the same thing. You know, I heard that there are kids here who might give us some clues. Look how jealously they are running about the field. Soccer practice must have three. A soccer player needs to know how to pass around the ball well in order to strike a goal well. Songjang's soccer kids are really good. And now, they are ready to show off their real soccer skills through this mini soccer match. Basketball practice is also in full swing. Once you start dribbling the ball, you will get the hang of playing basketball. The coach teaches them to the right positions and the techniques. Shoot. And see, a goal it is. Don't forget to loosen your muscles afterwards. That way your body can relax after a hard workout. Hey, I hear music. What are the kids up to now? It's just dance time. First, kids warm up by working out to this bouncy music. You always have to be aware of the basic steps and stretching exercises to be good at just dancing. Hmm, stretching workouts are the basic in any sport. Yeah, it might be useful for super kids battle as well. So kids, relax your body. And do your best to the very end. Work it! <laughs> There are certain things you associate with summer. Could be watermelon, could be swimming, could be camping. Certain things you associate with summer. Outdoor stuff, even the smell of cut grass, whatever. For me though, one of the things I think about when I hear the word summer is, of course, summer reading. A lot of folks doing a lot of reading during summer. Go into the cool air-conditioned libraries, pick up a great book, go to another world. Well, of course, this, well, this round is about reading and how well they covered their books, how much they remember. They got questions about a book and they were given it in advance. Of course, we want to thank uh, Iseum Korea Publishing for giving our books to these students. And hopefully they read all the books and they memorized the facts. We have some great questions. Let's find out uh, what book was given. There was an old mansion standing on a wild moor, where a man appears to start the revenge for his hurt feelings that were caused by love. Will he succeed in his revenge? Let's see what happens at Wuthering Heights. Oh, a 
classic Wuthering Heights. Okay, well, these guys are ready, and I think we should have two people. Come on out! Hi, number one. Hi. Um, for your summer plans, are you going to do some reading too? Yes. Or any traveling? No. No. How about you, number 11? Are you going to be doing some reading? No. No reading? Yes. What are you going to do during summer? Play. Play. That's a good plan. Okay. You look very healthy, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how you do with this question. Who is the writer of Wuthering Heights? Yes, number 11. Emily Bronte. You're in! Congratulations! Great job! Hi, number two. Do you have any special summer plans? No. No. Just gonna hang out? Stay at home? Play with friends? Yes. Okay. Sounds like normal summer activities. How about you, number 12? Anything special happening this summer? No. Nothing at all. Okay, well, here's a question that's very special for you two. What country is the setting? <laughs> Number 12. England. You're in! Congratulations! Very good. Number three. Is there any place you'd like to visit in Korea or any other country? Philippines. The Philippines. Okay, Philippines, not bad. Number 13, how about you? No. Oh, okay, this guy likes to hang out at home. Well, hang out here in the studio because here's a question for you. Mr. Earnshaw brought an orphan boy to Wuthering Heights. Number 13. Here's Cliff. You're right and you're in. Yeah. Hi, number four. How are you? I'm fine. Do you have any hobbies? Yes. What? Play the flute. Playing the flute. Have you played for a long time? No. Ah, oh, just starting, huh? Okay. How about you, 14? Do you play any instruments? Um, play on cello. The cello. Excellent. Have you played for a long time? Yes. How long? Um, three years. Wow, okay. Well, I don't know if this is about music, but here's a question for you. The story takes place between Wuthering Heights and Thrushcross Grange. How many miles? Four miles. Yeah, just like your number. Just like your number. You are in. Very good. Okay, number five, let me ask you, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to play computer game. Play computer game? Yes. How about you, 15? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like reading books. Reading books. Excellent. Okay. Let's see who gets the answer to this question. Catherine Earnshaw was bitten by this at the Number 15. Dog. Yes! A bulldog. Scary. Hi, number six. Do you have any pets? No. Would you like a pet? Yes. What would you like? Uh, puppy. A puppy. Okay. Dogs, like I'm saying, very popular. Okay, here is your question. When Catherine married Edgar Linton, Heathcliff got married to this woman. Yes, number six. Uh, Isabella. Uh. You're right, and you're in. Good job. Excellent. Okay, number seven. Let me ask you, do you have a favorite class? Yes. What is it? PE. PE, so you like sports? Yes. How about you, 17? No. No? Do you like all your classes? Yes. Good, okay. Well, hopefully you'll like this question. Get ready, get set, go! To what city did Isabella move to run away from Heathcliff? Yes, number seven. London. You're right, and you're in. Good job. Number eight, do you like to travel? Yes. Where have you traveled? Um, I've been to USA, Canada. Ah. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Okay, how about you, 18? Indonesia. Ah, did you have a good time? Yes. 
Oh, excellent. Traveling's good. Let's travel now to this question. The story starts as a man named Lockwood. Yes, number eight. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Three, two, one. Okay. Yes, number 18. Lockwood. No. That's not it. Let's listen to the rest of the hint. Yes. You both have a chance. Visits the Thrush Cross Grange. Here, he finds Catherine's this. What? Yes. Diary. It is right. Diary is the answer. You're in. <laughs> Number nine, do you keep a diary? Mm, yes. Uh, do you enjoy keeping a diary or is it no. kind of like homework? <laughs> it's homework, right? Yes. Okay. How about uh, you, 19? Do you have a diary? Yeah. All right. Do you enjoy writing in your diary? No. I understand. Sometimes you have exciting days, sometimes not exciting days. Well, today is an exciting day. You can write about super kids in your diary and maybe this question. What did Heathcliff put inside Catherine? Yes, number Hair. nine. Hair. You're in! Congratulations! Very good. How are you feeling, number 10? Good. Feeling good? Okay. Okay, well, here's your question. Hareton Earnshaw took all of Catherine Linton's fees, but they ended up burning in the fire. What were they? Yes, number 10. Books. You're in! Congratulations! That's right. Very good. Now, those who are in have their headbands and they're sitting down. But we need to move to five spots. That means that these 10 will do a little shuffling, mix up, and then come back for another round of tough questions. Do that mixing right now. Yes, the scientific shifting and mixing has been done. Randomly have they have mixed up and they're ready. I hope they're ready. Two more. Come on out! <laughs> if you are ready, here is your question. Catherine Earnshaw stayed five weeks at the Thrush Cross Grange and returned home on blank day. Number 12. Christmas. Move it on! Good job! Excellent! Five bucks. You got one of them. Two more, come on out! It's summer vacation. But we just mentioned Christmas. Number four, which is your favorite? Christmas or summer? Winter or summer? Summer. Summer? Okay. How about you, number nine? You have a favorite vacation? Summer. Summer. They both like summer, and they're both going to try to answer this question. Heathcliff wouldn't let anyone come up to the second floor, for there were writings on the wall that read blank Earnshaw, blank Heathcliff, and blank Linton. Okay. Number nine, your answer? Kasturi. That's it! And you're moving on! Congratulations! Good job! Catherine is correct. And let's have uh, two more. Come on out! You guys ready? Yes. Okay. Well, here is your question. Listen to the following conversation between Catherine Earnshaw and Heathcliff. Did you make her like you? Do you really love her? You are not my blank. Number 11. Wife. That's right, number 11, moving on. Very good. Excellent, two more to fill, and uh, let's have two more, come on out. Number six, did you enjoy the book? Yeah. Okay, how many times did you read it? Once. Once. How about you, number seven? Did you enjoy the book? Yes. And how many times did you read it? 
Two, two times. Okay. Well, you read it, and here's your question. The milk delivery boy delivered Catherine Linton and Linton Heathcliff's blank. Number seven. Letters. Very good. Letters. You're moving on. Fantastic. Last two guys fighting for the last position. Move on out here real quick. One more spot to fill. Two people. One question. Here is that question. Mr. Earnshaw found Heathcliff in a city in northwestern England called Blank. Number 15. Rebel Poor. Okay, you got it. That final spot belongs to you, 15. Congratulations. And it looks like we have that high five. All right, we got our high five. And before we move on to the next round, I got to tell you, if you're interested in reading the book in advance, like our students do, it's The Great Gadsby. That's the story. Wow, that's like college reading. These guys are so advanced. Well, let's advance to the next round. Let's go. You've probably heard different numbers. Different numbers of what? Different numbers of the percentage of the amount of our brains that we use. How much gray matter do we use? Not a lot of it. Not a lot of it. Now these guys are being called upon to use every cell that they have in their brains to get the right answers, to get high points. The person with the highest points, the highest score, they move on. They are the school champion and they have a chance to be the super kid. Let's meet these high five. All right, we have number seven. That is Ryu Minjung. Next to her is another Minjung. It's Oh Minjung. And in the middle, the only guy. He's Mr. Lonely. Number 11 is Bom Hua. You're not lonely, are you, Bom Hua? No, smiling away. Number 12 is Sun Young. And finally, number 15 is Jie. Welcome guys, you are the high five. You did a great job so far and now it's time to really start. You're gonna have nine questions. Anyone can answer. Be careful. You might wanna to listen to the entire hint. A lot of folks tend to press early and often they lose their chance. Okay, so let's look at the, the board. Let's start with a 10 point question in a very appropriate category, summer movies. Kids, have you seen a lot of movies during the summer? In movies or TV dramas, there are always main characters that lead the story. Then, there are also people who appear in the background, who most of the time keep quiet. What are these people called? Number 15. Extra. You're right, on the board. That's right. If we are shooting a movie right now, you guys are the main characters. You five. Right now, our star is number 15. The first to score, it is GA. And let me ask you, GA, what's something that you like to do? I heard you like music. Yes, I like listening music. Uh, do you have a favorite group? I like Beatles. The Beatles? Wow, okay. And do you have a favorite Beatles song? I like Let It Be. Let It Be, okay. You got 10 points. Now it's 110 your total. Please choose a category. 10 points, numbers. 10 points, numbers. Hey kids, how many times have you drawn the Taegukki, the national flag of Korea? As you know, there are four black trigrams in each corner of the flag, which are called kon, kon, kam, di. These trigrams are made of black lines. What number do you get when you add all the black lines in the tegukki? Number 12? 18. 
She's right. That's right. 18 total. You see those black lines? Well, it's 18. Very good job. Number 12, that's Sun Young. And um, do you like songs too? Yes. Do you like singing songs? Yes. What kind of songs do you like to sing? Hip hop or kids stuff? Children's songs. Children's songs. Children's songs. Okay. I'm not going to ask you to sing. Don't worry. Huh? You look stressed out there, a little nervous. <laughs> Great. You're tied in first place. You have 110. Please choose a category. 10 points, Super Korea. Super Korea for 10 points. We're wiping out the 10 point line. Hi there, Super Kids. Did you know that the year 2005 was the 200th birthday of the great storyteller Hans Christian Andersen? To celebrate this, there is an exhibition about him making its way around the world. It is said that Andersen loved to travel and explore new places, and this is the bag he actually carried around with him. You can also see other things he had with him, like his pocketbook and glasses. Anderson used to tell stories to children by using shadow puppets or paper crafts. Wonder what kind of story he told while using this butterfly. Guys, do you know? I'm going to try making a character like Anderson did. All I need to do is put these pictures in the right spot by spinning this barrel. And voila, it's the Little Mermaid. Cool, this seems to be the tale of the Little Mermaid. Kids, did you know that Anderson wrote the Little Mermaid when he himself was going through a hard time because of love? Interesting, huh? Now, here's the question. I bet most of you know the story The Little Mermaid, which has even been made into an animated film. In the story, The Little Mermaid goes to the sea witch to become human because of her love for the prince. She gives her voice to the sea witch to have these. What are these? Yes, number 11. Legs. Yeah, you got it. Legs. Momoa, you got 10 points. Did a great job. You yes. said you like to play. I'm guessing you are, well, you're healthy. You like to run outside and use your legs. Do you have a favorite sport? Yes. What is it? Soccer. Of course, you must have very strong, healthy legs. Excellent. You have 10 points as well. And now we've got to go to questions that have more points. Please choose a category. 20 points equal. 20 points equal. Look at the relation between the following words and tell us what word should go in the blank. Male is to tenor as... Yes, number 15. Soprano. Good job. Yes. Let it be, let it be. She likes to sing, likes the Beatles. Very good job, music. You knew it, soprano. Excellent, that's for 20 points in the lead with 130. So, please choose another category. 30 points, homework. Homework. You guys know about homework, but do you know the answer to this question? Oh, going for the chance. Excellent strategy. Okay. Uh, yes, number seven. If number seven or 12 get it, it's not worth 30, it's worth 60. Let's hear the homework question. Isaac had to finish his art project before summer was over. He'd prepared some paper and watercolors, but didn't know what to do with them. Suddenly, he had a great idea. He'd applied paint to one side of the paper. Then, he folded the paper in half. Look, the same pattern has appeared on both sides. What is this art technique? Yes, number 15. You got it. You got it. Very good. Wow. And with that, you get 30 more. 
Okay, so number 15. GA, do you have a, a preference? What would you like to hear next? What category? 20 Super Korea. Here's a 20 point Super Korea question. Look here. This is a scene from the story made with miniature figures. Isn't it cute? Now this fairy tale, the steadfast tin soldier, is actually based on Anderson's own love story when he was in love with a soprano. You can see a different side of Anderson in this book. But you know what? The Ugly Duckling was also sort of a story of himself. He wrote this fairy tale based on his childhood. Now, here's the question. The Ugly Duckling in the book was actually a reflection of Anderson when he was young, for he was a loner being too tall and too shy. Just as Anderson became a famous fairy tale writer, the Ugly Duckling also grows up to be something special. Then, what kind of animal was the Ugly Duckling originally? Number 11. Swan. That's right. Bonsoir, very good. And with that, 20 more added to your total, making you the second place holder. That's right. In second place right now is Bonsoir. Okay, three more to go. Looking at the total, well, it looks like it's still anybody's game. So, please choose a category. 20 points, Sky. Sky, 20 points. This is put inside airplanes for it provides very important information when there is a plane crash. Its color is actually orange to make it easy to find. But it is called the blank box. What color should go in the blank? Well, actually we want, yes, number 11? Black. Yes, very good. Very good. A black box with that. Still going higher up, 150, so it's called the black box. Apparently its color is orange, so they can find it easily. But yes, it's called the black box. I wonder if it was at some point black. Anyway, you are just 10 points behind 15. The leader, 160. You have 150. Bonsoir, well, please choose a question. 30 points, food. Food, 30 points. What am I? I remind you of a tree. I am a type of cabbage. I'm used as an ingredient in many dishes. I'm green and rich in vitamin A. Yes, number 15? Broccoli. Yes, right! Oh, baby! That is right. Very good, G.A. It's broccoli, very good for you, very green, looks like a small tree. And with that, your lead increases. That's a 30 point food question. So you have 190 right now. Now, even though you're in the lead, some people have yet to use their chance. This last question is worth 30. Oh, here we go. He's going for it. Uh-huh, here comes the chance. All right, the three people who didn't use it now going for it. Whoever gets it right, if you have used your chance, doubles the score. Anything can happen. Will GA remain in the leading position and be the school champion? Will there be a change? Here is the last question. It's a job question. Take a listen. The police make our world a better, safer place to live. And today, we are here to see what kind of work the policemen do every day. This is one of the police patrol stations in Seoul, where you can find wanted posters of criminals and a local area map posted on the walls. There are police stations working under the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, and these stations are branches of the police stations. This is the Sucho Patrol Station, and this is police officer Kim hyun Ben. <laughs>
범죄 예방 활동의 일환으로 순찰차, 오토바이, 도보 순찰 등 3개 팀이 24시간 범죄 예방을 위하여 최선의 순찰 활동을 하고 있습니다. They mostly help solve problems the residents complain about, which are sent in through the internet these days. They constantly communicate with the police officers who are on patrol and check up on the outside world. 길을 잃은 친할머니를 발견하고 어렵게 가족을 찾아 드린 적이 있는데 고마워하는 가족을 보면서 보람과 긍제를 느낀 적이 있습니다. One of their most important roles is to patrol the area regularly from corner to corner, and they always have to be alert for no one knows where there might be an emergency. Now, here is the question. 경찰관이 매 시간 모든 곳을 돌아볼 수 없기 때문에 범죄 예방을 위해서 설치하는 것이 있습니다. 골목길이나 건물 곳곳, 엘리베이터 등에 설치하여 기록을 저장하는데요. 범죄가 일어났을 때 범인을 찾거나 설치해 있는 것만으로도 범죄율을 낮출 수 있다고 하는 이것은 무엇일까요? Yes, number 15. Camera. Yes, number 11. I'm sorry. CCTV. CCTV. That was worth 30 points. Unfortunately, it's a flip. That's right. If it was just 30 points, wouldn't be enough. He got to use his chance. It's worth 60 points. That means he got a total of 210. From second place, he moves to first. You're moving on. Congratulations, Bum Ha. I don't get it. It's a mystery. It's baffling. Bumwa, you did a great job. But you said you don't like to study. Yes. Uh, you don't like to read books. Yes. What's your secret? I don't know. He doesn't know. Unbelievable. OK, well, you were the solo guy in the last round. You came from behind using your chance. And here you are, the school champion. How do you guys feel about the school champion? Yeah. yeah. Little support, little support. Okay, they're supporting you. The teachers over there are biting their fingernails. They're worried. It's okay though. You feel okay? Yes. All right. Now, we've got three categories, three questions. If you get two, you are the super kid today. Let's see what those categories are. We've got country, travel, and nature. Which one do you think will be easy? Country. Country. Okay, here he is, the Patriot, the school champion. Let's see how he does with country. What country comes to mind when you hear the following words? Ho Chi Minh, Ha Long Bay, Mekong River, Ao Jai. Wow. What country comes to mind when you hear those four things? Ho Chi Minh, Ha Long Bay, Mekong River, I'll die. Vietnam. He says Vietnam. Is Vietnam correct? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> One now. I guess Ao Dai is the traditional Vietnamese dress, and Ha Long Bay is the World Heritage Site registered by uh, UNESCO. Amazing. That's one. Two more categories. If you just get one, you are today's super kid. Great job so far. Let's see the remaining categories. We got travel. We got nature. He knew his country. Let's see. Nature. What category? Nature is the choice. Let's see if this is the one. Please give us the question. What do the following words have in common? Kite. Chejudo. Power. Sailboat. Win. Whoa. He win. says wind. We got kite and chejudo, power and sailboat. If 
His answer is correct. He is the super kid. If not, still has a chance. Is win the right answer. Yes, it is! Congratulations! Woo! Good job, good job. Here you go. The champion and the super kid. Great job, Mom and Dad. Great job to you. Great job, teacher. Great job to all of you guys. Thanks for coming. And please join us again for another extra time next time. Bye bye! Thank you! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid receives a notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second prize is an MP3 player. All competitors will receive gift cards from Super Kids. And all participants receive complimentary books courtesy of iSeum Publishing. Give it to this place. Book. Oh. Textbook. You learn hell. Test. Keep. Addison. Helping each other out. Keep it up. Excellent. Good. Yes, number eight. Put it inside the neck. And you got your little. Oh! Final spot belongs to you, fifth. Number so the percentage of the. Number 15. What word should go in the blank? Suddenly, we had a group.